Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll show you how to create this stunning 3D interactive web page using Wix Studio. So let's get into it. So for those of you who are not aware, Wix Studio is a web creation platform specially designed for agency and freelancers. So either you are web designer or developers, Wix Studio provides many powerful and flexible tools so that you can build professional website from basic to advanced level. So previously in my channel, I have done several Wix Studio tutorials. Like this one where I showcase how to build a landing page from scratch or how to make a beautiful hero section like this. So in this video, we're going to focus on how to integrate real-time 3D elements to your website and elevate it to the next level. So here we are in the Wix Studio dashboard where you can manage all your sites and settings. To get started, you can click here to create a new site. So you have the option to create from the studio template or a blank canvas. So for this one, let's go with the blank canvas. All right, so here we are at the startup page. So by default, it will give you some basic components like the headers, the body, and the footers. Uh, so let's remove the footers and the header section because we don't need it. Just keep the body section. Uh, so if you go to the layer panel on the left, you can see that there's only one section here in the page. Uh, so the next thing I want you to do is you click here to add some element to this page. Uh, so let's go to quick add and uh, select container by just simply drag it to the page. And then let's go back here and rename this container to banner. And let's duplicate this to create a second container and this one will be the header. Alright, so now let's select the banner container and click this button so it can stretch and fill the whole screen. And let's go to the right panel and give it some darker color so you can see the distinction between the two containers. Uh, so next, let's select the header containers and go to the size properties and click here to turn on this advanced settings. And then let's set the width of the headers to 100% of the default. And click here to center align it. And also click here to align it to the top of the page. And for the height, let's give it a fixed number like 80 pixel. Uh, so now let me just zoom it out a little bit so you can see it better. What's going on here? Uh, so next, I want this whole section to fill up the whole screen. Uh, so let's select the section and let's also turn on advanced settings. And for the height, uh, let's select viewport height. So now it will fill up the whole screen like this. Uh, so now let's reduce the opacity of the header background to zero and then let's add some element into it so click here and go to media and from here you can upload all your size access by just simply drag it into this so let's select this file and just click here and it will upload to the server and when it's done let's select all of these files and click add to page so we have this element here uh, randomly placed on the screen, which is fine. So let's uh, select this menu button. And I want to add this menu button to the top right of the header. Uh, so first, let's just reduce it to uh, 42 pixel, and then just drag it to the container. And then it will automatically jump into the header container here. So next, let's uh, align it to the right. And then let's do the same for the logo, uh, but on the top left. So now we have something like this. Uh, and next, let's give it some paddings on the two sides. So uh, maybe 40 pixels on the left and the right. So now we can have this nice pacing here. So for these three icons, I want to put it in the middle of the headers. Uh, first, let's reduce it to maybe 16 pixels each. And then just simply drag them into the header containers and then select uh, all three of them and let's align and distribute them properly and then let's click here to create a stack so you can easily control the spacing between these elements in the stack so uh, now let's align it to the middles of the header container uh, so with the stack component you can easily reorder the element in the stack like this uh, so now we have this nicely looking header section like this fully responsive and you can also click on each of these and change this responsive behavior to fix 
and do the same for the other two icons so now when you scale the browsers these icons will remain the same sizes all right so let's go to the front part so for the banner container i'm going to add a iframe component so let's click here and search for iframe and let's just add it to the page and with this iframe components uh, you can click here to embed the 3d from spline uh, so here we are in spline so if you don't have any original 3d artwork uh, you can go to the community page to uh, browse through these really cool 3d work that other people do and you just select any of these and remix them uh, for testing purposes uh, so this is the 3d scene that i did in spline so uh, you can see that all of the animation and interaction was done in spline uh, so all we need to do is to get the embed code and just uh, paste it to your website. So, uh, but the first thing very important is to make sure that the background colors is set to zero opacity. And then let's click on this export buttons and in the public URLs, you just need to click here to copy the embed link. And then all we need to do is to paste the code to this import here and click update. And boom, we have this live 3D scene perfectly integrated to your website so let's click here so it can stretch and fill up the whole screen and make sure that you turn on this on hover features in spline so that we can have this nice camera orbit mouse effect all right so next i'm going to add a background to the banner so let's go to quick add and select image and click here so you can change this one to your own image so let's upload this nice green background colors that I have here and just simply add it to the page and let's make it full screen and now it's uh, filled up the whole banners so now we can have this really nice immersive 3d banner alright so next let's uh, finish this screen by adding some text into it uh, so let's select uh, titles and just type in something like this and make sure that it stay inside the banner container so let's just simply drag it into this area so it will automatically jump into the banner container and let's move it under the iframe component so it will look like this and then let's make the title bigger and, and align it to the center of the screen and then let's go down and open this adjust menu and reduce the opacity to 80 percent uh, so now we have something like this uh, so next let's add a small uh, paragraph at the bottom of the screen and finally i want to add a cta button uh, right under this paragraph uh, so let's go here and search for buttons and with this button component you can change the labels and change the background colors from black to white and change the text to black and you can also change the corner radius so, so, the, so that we can have this peel shape button like this and then let's just move the button down here and select the paragraph and create a stack and then just simply drag this button layers right below the paragraph so now we have something like this and of course you can even elevate this more by adding animation to this uh, title here so let's go to this animation and effect tab and select entrance animation and here we have plenty of different animation presets for you to select you can click on any of these to preview and find the most suitable animation and you can even adjust the animation to match your liking and then apply the animation to the rest of the other elements so when you're done, you can click here to uh, publish the site with the Wix Studio domain and give it a few seconds to process and now you can have a link to preview your website. And now this is the final result look like. So you can see that the 3D interaction really elevate the website and bring it to the next level. Alright, so this is the end of my tutorial today. So I hope you find this one helpful and I will see you in the next one.